Hi, uh, my name is Amit and I am here with my short tutorial on how to add up action in Android app bar. So firstly what is an app bar? App bar is the top screen of your Android app and in order to go to the back back activity you can add an up action and you may have seen this in many Android apps almost every Android app. So if you want to reach to the apps main screen which I just said the main activity then create an up button on the app bar on selecting the up button which would be an arrow I guess the app navigates to the parent activity which is our main screen in this case so for that uh, let's create a new project android project and we will name it uh, anything my application Uh, so this is our domain and this is our package name which would be important to us this is the packages and all other SDKs and other stuff go for an empty activity this is the name of our main activity just click on finish now just wait for the project to load So here's a project in that as we can see we have a main activity so for running our project we will add another activity and we'll also create an app bar in it so let's go with another activity we can name it uh, demo so here's a de demo activity in that uh, now we will go to our layouts we will create another layout let's say we have given the name demo activity okay so what is an app bar app bar is this part here we you can see my application is written here here we will add an up button that would be an arrow which will take us to the main activity that is our parent activity so for that just go to the demo activity here we will be extending our compact activity this is done to add our app bar I will explain it later now firstly let's just take some content from here this is the main initialization so here are, are in demo or activity name we will link it to dot demo underscore activity so now for running our project for adding up button to our app bar up action to our app bar we will add this line this will enable the action bar we will add it here okay, yeah. so there is no error if you will change it to activity then it will show an error yeah the error would be firstly we will add an import yeah still you are getting an error right so the error would be cannot resolve the main, uh, method get support action bar for this we will add app compact activity so let us see the activity file of it you can still you can't see the activity right so for that we will reach the Android manifest.xml file. Okay, so firstly we will declare our activity, the newly the new one, which is demo. We will close it. In that we will add our parent activity name so that we can reach it after clicking the back button, the up action. Okay, so now we will go to the demo activity and now we will run it. Let's see what happened. So 
So this is our emulator. So here we can see it is running emulator. So just wait for it to launch. So this is my application as you can see. So for going to the next activity we should add a button in it. Okay so here is a main activity. Now we will add a button in it. We will also add an ID. That would be button demo. In this case we will remove the we can also add the android text this will be the text written on the android uh, on the button then we can write it as click also we can set the height a button we can add it to its 20 dp and same with the width yes okay we'll change it to wrap wrap content this one to wrap content again so it is showing an error that uh, i haven't added a string resource which is correct create a string value resource i'll directly create from here this will ask for a value I'll name it as click so the the that the word click will be visible on the button. We will go to the code. In that I'll I'll just find my new button. For that I'll first declare the button. That would be button B1. Let's go for B1. Add the import using alt plus enter b1 is equal to button find view id in this you can add r dot id dot the name of a button which was we kept it as button demo now use a semicolon now we will add a listener a click listener that is when whenever we will click the button it will show the following details so here we will, we will just create an intent that would redirect you to to our demo page intent i is equal to new intent get application context here we will add our class name that would be demo dot class so in that we will also start the activity from start activity intent i yeah okay so we are ready to run our project let's start click on run so i'll click the click button so here you can see the map my application and the back button here you can just click on here and here is our parent activity Thank in this what we did which is we just did three things and that we added uh, this line to our activity here 
under on not here uh, under on create function also we added we extended the activity with app contact activity and I've, I guess you saw the reason why I did that also in the manufacture XML file I have added this line as you can see I'll show it you again yes we are added not paid activity to main activity okay so this okay so it's one of the same thing if I'm adding it here or this because it by default take take our package so this is what we achieved thank you for watching